What up free bosses? In this video, I wanna show you how mastering one skill can earn you more money as a remote worker rather than learning a bunch of skills and just being average at all of them. So let's jump into it. So being an expert versus being average. Instead of being average at many different things and many different skills, you wanna be an expert at one or two things. Because when you're an expert at one or two things, you're more rare, you have less competition, experts are in higher demand, and you have more opportunities. Basically, you can pick and choose which events or which projects you wanna take on because you're in higher demand and more people are looking for experts rather than just looking for an average worker. So you really wanna to strive to be an expert and how you become an expert is by first mastering one thing. So when you're going through this transition of learning something new and trying to change your career and go down a different path, you wanna really go all in on one thing, master that one thing, become an expert in it, then look for other opportunities on venturing out and learning other things and becoming an expert in other fields. So when you're focused on learning one thing and mastering that one thing, it's a lot easier to stay focused and stay in this tunnel and not drift off course. You wanna stay on course because it can be very tempting to learn this and try and learn that and try and learn this skill. And then you see this video where you're like, oh my gosh, I can make a bu bunch of money knowing that. And so then you drift off course and you try to learn that. Don't do that. Just focus on one thing at a time. Master this one skill, get really good at it, because what they say is practice makes perfect. So the more time you spend learning this one thing and practicing this one thing, the better you're gonna get at it and the more rare you're gonna be. Just like any other skill, the more you do it, the better you get. Just like basketball, soccer, football, the more you practice that and do that over and over, the better you're gonna be at it, the less competition you're gonna have, and the more in demand you will be for that skill because there's not as many people that are of your skill level in that one area. So if you just focus your main skill to deliver the highest results for your clients, then you are going to be very successful in that one area. Then once you have a client base, you can start to learn other skills and then you can offer those other skills to your client base. But again, it's easier to stay focused on one thing rather than trying to learn five different things at once and doing everything at an average level. When you're able to practice one thing over and over and over, what this is gonna do is build your confidence. You're gonna feel more confident when you're in interviews with clients and it's gonna be heard in the tone of your voice, in your portfolio that you're gonna have. You're gonna overall show that you have a high level of expertise in this field because you've already spent so much time practicing, learning, being in that one tunnel area that you're choosing, that one skill, you're gonna have so much experience in that one area and it's gonna show through in your confidence. And when people can sense that you're confident in your skills and in your abilities, they're more likely to hire you because in their eyes, it seems like it's less risk. They have more confidence in you and your abilities and they're not gonna potentially lose money by hiring you and you trying to figure it out as you go along. So even if you don't 100% feel confident, you will naturally be more confident because you've spent more time doing this. That confidence is what's going to help you land a lot more clients and you build confidence again by just practicing the same thing over and over and over, getting really good at that one thing, that one thing getting really good at that and having a good portfolio of things that you've done with that and that's how you're gonna be able to close a lot more clients and ultimately grow your client list and grow the amount of money that each client spends with you. So once you've mastered that one skill and you've gone through many different interviews all around that one skill, then interviews will tend to run a lot smoother because you already know what the client is gonna ask. You already have talked to many different clients in the past about this, so you know to deliver the best response and you'll be able to offer free advice that's gonna actually bring the client value before you actually do any work for them because when you can bring them value and you can give them honest feedback that is really uh, valuable to them, then they're gonna already look at you as a credible source, they're gonna look at you as an authority in your space, and you're gonna make a more memorable impression on them, and thus increasing your chances of actually getting hired from them, and then being able to do a lot of business with them down the line. Just like I mentioned before, when you are doing one thing over and over and over and your clients have been hiring you for this one thing over and over and over, you are gonna soon have a big portfolio 
of that one thing. And it's a lot easier to sell a client on how amazing you are when you have a lot of examples that you can just send to them and say, hey, look, here's X, Y, Z examples of what I've done here. And then they're gonna look at your examples and they're gonna know a lot more of what they're gonna be getting into. You can showcase all of your talents in a nice little presentation or PDF or video send this over in just an email or a message, linking them to where all your work is, and then it's gonna pretty much sell you for you. You're not gonna have to really do much selling to the actual client because your portfolio is then gonna actually sell you. But then how do you build a well-established and large portfolio? Is by doing one thing over and over, practicing it, practicing it, practicing, getting it better, getting better each time, and that's what ultimately turns you into that expert in that space. And then your portfolio is what proves that you're the expert and proves that you know what you're talking about when it comes to this one certain skill set. So I hope I was able to really show you that it does make a lot of sense to just master one thing, become an expert in that one space, build your portfolio around that one thing, and then once you have a good client base and the clients are referring you other clients and you have a great portfolio and you've been doing this for a long period of time, then you can transition into learning other skill sets and becoming a master and an expert in those skill sets. And then over a period of time, you'll be an expert or you'll be a master in these different fields and ultimately you can offer a lot more services for your clients. So thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.